Did you like and subscribe to this channel yet? I will close my eyes and I won't look at you, okay? I know staring at people is kind of awkward, so I won't stare at you while you like and subscribe. I'm closing my eyes right now as we speak, all right? While I close my eyes, I just need you to click on the like button and click on the subscribe button. That way you can be in the know. That way you won't miss out on the news that's coming your way, all right? Because you won't know about the newest things going on in the world if you don't like and subscribe. All right, I'll give you three seconds to like and subscribe. One, two, three. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Also, give me your opinion. I want your honest opinion of the free audiobook that I made for you down below in the comment section. Click on it, listen to it, leave your feedback of it down below, okay? I will pin your comment, and I will also give your channel a shout-out if you're the first one to do it, all right? Let's do this. TheGuardian.com Shane Lowry storms to four-shot open lead after emerging from almighty scrap. Okay, so this article is um, written by Ewen Murray. Sometimes sporting outcomes give the impression of being written in the stars. Shane Lowry has enough to occupy his thoughts without contemplation of becoming the latest symbol for a collective will in Ireland, but should he lift the claret at a venue deemed unsuitable for the Open Championship amid decades of civil unrest, Galt will have delivered a last lap toward bitterness. Sports unifying qualities are such a great strength how they were endorsed as Lowry pulled Royal Port Rush to pieces. Lowry, who heads into the Open's final day holding a four-shot lead, was cheered to the rafters on Saturday in a form which demonstrated just how much this Northern Irish crowd want the man from rural county Offaly to see the job through. Although always within boundaries of respect, the genteel sport of golf took on tribal form. A wide grin barely left Lowry's face and no wonder. The only apparent danger to him is that many of this ruckus contingent deem to think his name is already on the jug. Just 63 shots for Lowry on Saturday, 30 of them in the last nine, was the lowest score of this tournament by two. Honestly, walking from the green to the next tee, the people are literally a yard away from you, roaring in your face as loud as they can, Lowry said. If you have to get up and hit a drive down a tight fairway, it's fairly difficult. For so much of this third round, Lowry was embroiled in an almighty scrap with J.B. Holmes, Tommy Fleetwood, and Lee Westwood. Holmes flatlined, though he is still though he still shot 69, and Westwood played his back nine in two over par. Fleetwood did not do anything wrong at all. His 66 still left him for a drift of the impre- uh, Okay. Fleetwood did not do anything wrong at all. His 66, his 66 still left him for a drift of the imperious Lowry. Three successive birdies from the 15th were sufficient to create an element of leeway for the 32-year-old, which means he can perhaps only give this open away. His glorious four-iron tee shot into the 16th made a mockery of the whole name, Calamity. Calamity, whoa, I said Calamity, Calamity, and endorsed his level of confidence. That he has no major title to his name made that spear all the more admirable. Lowry needs to, no reminder that he also led by four with 18 to play in the U.S. Open of 2016 at Oakmont. He duly slipped to a closing round of six over. When I finished, I looked at the leaderboard four ahead. I said to his, his caddy, Bo Martin, at least I won't have to answer any questions about Oakmont. I'm four ahead. Going into the final round of a major, said Lowry with a smile. If I'm sitting 
here this time tomorrow evening having won it will be one of the biggest things that have e that ever happened to me there's no denying that but I felt at the time in Oakmont, my golf just meant a lot more to me back then than it does now. I'm not saying that it doesn't mean any, I'm not saying that it doesn't mean everything. It's my career, but I've got certain things in my life that make it different. I've got family now. No matter what I shoot tomorrow, my family will be waiting for me. Oakmont does not directly compare with Port Rush because of weather disruption which ensured Lowry finished round three only on Sunday morning. The R&A have taken preventative action owing to extreme gusts and heavy rain forecast for Northern Ireland. Round four tea times have been advanced by two hours. Lowry's current aggregate is 16 under at minus 12, Fleetwood is too clear of homes. Justin Rose in Brooks Koepka, Koepka, the last has endured all manner of frustrations on the greens, are now seven behind. It is a stretch to see anybody outside this group winning, but Westwood and Ricky Fowler, who sit eight under, will not have given up hope. Lowry admirably strayed from cliche when assessing how to approach inevitably the most nerve-wracking moments of his career. Yet this is a golfer who has produced the extraordinary before. A decade ago, when still an amateur, he stunned the world of golf by running, I'm sorry, he stunned the world of golf by winning the Irish Open. Obviously, I'll go to bed thinking about holding the Clara jug, Lowry added. It's only natural, isn't it? We're human. We're not robots. There's no point in saying I'll go out and enjoy myself tomorrow because it's going to be a very stressful and very difficult day. So I'm going to take the bad shots on the chin and I'm going to take the good shots and try to capitalize. I'm just going to be myself and play my game and see where it leaves me. Having started the day at seven under, Westwood reached double digits by the fifth tee. It feels harsh to criticize a Westwood round of 70 that keeps him in contention, age 46, but the kind of trouble that ensued over the closing stretch was ominously familiar. Not so Fowler, who signed for a 66, his best round of the week by three. Rose had been treading water before an eagle at the 12th. He was 10 under after a birdie at the 15th, but handed a shot back to the course after a miscued tee shot on the next. Holmes' afternoon was afforded gloss by a fine birdie at the last. Thereafter, the American was fulsome in praise for Lowry, his playing partner. I don't know how many times in history you get the opportunity to witness that or be around that, to have somebody from the home country and put a round up like that in an open, Holmes said. It's pretty special, something I'll never forget. Lowry is 18 holes from adding to a quite remarkable run of Irish major glory, kicked off in this very event by Padraig Harrington in 2007. Easy to say, if Lowry performs half as well as was the case on Saturday, it will be similarly straightforward to do. So let me know what your thoughts are on this down below in the comment section. Uh, let me know if you are a Shane Lowry fan or if this is the first time you're hearing about him. Also, have you ever been to Ireland? Ireland? Let me know down below in the uh, comment section below if you've ever been to Ireland. I want to go to Ireland one day. It just seems like a, a nice place to visit. All right. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. That way they can be in the know, okay? And don't forget to give me your honest opinion of the free audiobook down below. It is free, okay? It's a free audiobook. I wrote it for you. I want your honest feedback, your honest opinion of it, all right? 
Also, don't forget to have a great day. Ha ha ha. Anyways, I have a lot more news coming your way, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.